The Cupra Formentor is a mix of an SUV and a sports car. So now I found the head of design of Cupra, the new Seat performance brand. Uh, Alejandro, I have a question. How hard is, is it for you as a designer to build a beauty like this for the new performance brand called Cupra? Well, you know, when we are passionate about what we do, it's not so hard, it's actually it's fun. The test with professional drivers and engineers helps us a lot to put the car on the right conditions because professional drivers are very exigent at what they want on the car. Generally, for me, the instant acceleration is what gives the biggest sensation. We've been able to define improvements on the steering calibration to make it even more precise without getting too heavy. The boost function really helps you also to, to feel that the car has a sportivity. has very quick curves and therefore help us to reach the precision that the car has to have. Uh, and when we talk about the, the, the car, what are your design highlights regarding to the new, that's a first real Cupra car, because it's not a production car from said it's a brand new car, what are your design highlights with that car? Well, first of all, I think that uh, the, the secret of the beauty of the, of the Cupra Formentor is the, the right proportions. It's a car that uh, has the right, the right stance on the road with the right proportion between the hood, the cabin, a design that is simple but uh, that has a lot of character. You can see that from the front, uh, the expressiveness of the, of the seat metal on the side with the lines which are really, which really have a lot of tension, but uh, as I said, a lot of simplicity also. Uh, but I have to tell you a secret, my favorite uh, view of the car is the three-quarter rear. This is where you have the most uh, or the strongest image of the Cupra Formentor. We just talked about the, I would say, the wing over the rear wheel arches. Uh, what is that for? I really like it, but there is a design idea behind it. Yeah, the design idea is actually uh, to stretch in the side view. You have to imagine the car in side view. To stretch the front as much as we can, so it looks very long, with a long hood, long cabin, and then at the back there is a concentration of, uh, of tension with this uh, blister or power line that underlines the rear wheelers and it gives the impression that the car is almost like a rear wheel drive. You feel that the, the power uh, transfer is, is happening at the rear wheel by this design. And, and just one last question, we, so, we see this, this is a concept car. Um, how will the production car look like? Basically, uh, it will be the same thing that you are looking today. I'm sure that when I show you uh, in one year time, both cars together, the production and the concept, you won't be able to tell the difference from 10 meters distance.